All right. Kind of a typical question that you might hate in beginning of a probability course. Cards, right? So we're going to draw two cards from a standard deck. So 52 cards in the deck, four suits, 13 of each suit, yada, yada, yada. Without replacement, okay? So I pick a card, I don't replace it, then I pick another card. I want to know the probability of the second card's a heart. So uh, what I want to do is I want to write down uh, two events. Okay, so the first event, I'll call it A. Let's let A be uh, the event that uh, the first card is a heart. And let's let B be the event that the second card is a heart. Um, what is it I'm looking for then? I want the probability of B. I want the probability the second card is a heart. Probability of B. So how am I going to figure this out? If you think about it for a second, I'm drawing two cards, and the first card I draw, I don't replace it. So the second card, which is the event B, that being a heart depends on whether the first card is a heart or not. If my first card's a heart, that's going to influence whether the second card's a heart. If my first card's not a heart, that will influence it as well. So I do need one tiny little sort of annoying thing because it does require you to know something about prob probability, and that's what's called the law of total probability. Um, maybe I'll just expand on this a little bit. It's not too bad. If you think about it for a second, for any event B, uh, this is equal to the probability uh, of B and A happening, happening, or this is the probability of B and not A happening. If you think about it for a second, if you're looking for the probability that event B has happened, either B and a different event happened, or B and the other event didn't happen. Because A either happened or it didn't happen. Now I need to use the definition of conditional probability. So this is the part where, this is the only reason I would say this question comes up in maybe a college level probability class. It's because I need uh, conditional probability. Okay, so by definition of conditional probability, uh, this is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A plus the probability of B given not A times the probability of not A. Now let's just go through what this means real quick and think about why this is needed for this question. This is saying, on well, the probability the second card is a heart, given that the first card is a heart. Because the, the second card being a heart depends on whether the first card is a heart or not. So I want the probability the second card is a heart, given the first is a heart, so I multiply that to the probability the first is a heart. Over here, I want the probability that the second card is a heart, given that the first card is not a heart. Because either the first card is a heart or it's not. One or the other, times the probability that the uh, first card is not a heart. Now, why would I do this? Because these four things, these four things can be computed easily. If you think about it. Again, let's just start here. The probability the second card is a heart, given the first card is a heart. So imagine the first card is a heart. If the first card is a heart, how many hearts are left? The first card is heart. Right there are thirteen hearts total. So if I draw my first card as a heart, that means there's only twelve left. But now, also, furthermore, I'm not replacing it. So I drew a first card, the heart. I don't replace it. Okay, that means there are 12 hearts. But we started with 52 cards, and I didn't replace it, means I have 51. So now there are 51 cards. So in other words, the probability of the second card being a heart, given the first was a heart, is 12 by 51. The probability of A. This is just the probability the first card is a heart. So give you a standard deck of cards, 52 cards. What's the probability the first card is a heart? Well, there are 13 hearts, and there are 52 cards. So 13 out of 52. Now I need to add that to okay, this piece over here. Now I want the probability the second card is a heart, given the first card is not a heart. Now I don't replace the first card, so I drew something, not a heart. How many hearts are left? Well, there are still 13. 
But I did still draw a card, so there's no longer 52 cards, but 51. So the probability of getting a, a heart in the second, given the first was not a heart, is 13 and 51. All right, last thing is probability that the very first card is not a heart. Well, how many cards are there that are not hearts? Okay, well, there are 52 cards total. 13 are hearts, so 52 minus 13. So this is the annoying arithmetic that I absolutely hate. Some people think I love doing this in my free time. So, this is 39. 39 out of 52. Now, what, this is my answer. I didn't want to simplify it, the worst part ever. The logic is fun, the arithmetic sucks. Now what, the answer is actually surprising though, if you think about it a second. Let's just make our lives a little bit easier. We can cancel some things. I mean, is this kind of stupid for me to write this way? 39 52, this is the probability of just getting a heart. Of course, one in four. Because, I mean, there's hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds. And this simplifies to one fourth. So I'll just cancel this. Cancel this. This becomes a one. This becomes a four. Over here, I mean, multiplication is commutative. Move things around. Cancel this. 13 52 again. One, four. Now look at what I have here. I have the same denominator. So I'll put everything under one denominator, right? I have the same denominator, so this is equal to, now the numerator right here is just 12 over, I'm just gonna write it as 51 times four, plus over here, this is 39 times 51 times four. Why am I not multiplying 50, 51 to four? Because it's annoying. I mean, whatever, it's like 204, doesn't matter. If I have the same denominator, I can add these things. What is 12 plus 39? 51. How convenient. That's why I'm not actually simplifying it. So this is equal to 51 divided by 51 times 4, which is 1 fourth. So what's up with this? The probability... Get out of my way. Ah, the probability <laughs> that the second card is a heart is 1 fourth. But if you think about it, thinking, what is surprising about this? What is weird about this? The weird thing is that the probability of drawing a heart to begin with is one fourth. The probability the first card is a heart is a fourth. And the probability the second card is a heart is also a fourth. That's crazy. All right, we'll leave it at that. Comment below.